Okay guys, welcome back to the Open Championship final round. This is the back nine. We're going to start playing and we are in total command. We've got a eight shot lead. We've got a nine shot lead. Well, we're 20 under par anyway. Um, conditions are easy. It's only a slight breeze. And we've played well so far. And we are pretty much coasting, to be honest. Should be another guaranteed buddy there. There we go. 21 under par. And we have a 10 shot lead. Uh, McElroy's disappeared. Speed's making an appearance. But it's all pretty much. It's pretty much done and dusted at this stage, I think. What we got to the front? Uh, what kind of bounce is it going to get? Uh, that's not bad. That should be an uphill putt. Good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. And getting ready for the putt. I've got a feeling right it wasn't going to be enough. This for par. Yeah, still make a par though. But uh, well, still got a 10 shot lead. Uh, I could probably give my my mum the controls and she could probably still win it from here on in. Well, maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, she might. She might make a few bogeys though. Right. Put a bit of loft in it. Uh, that's not really. The line's not right. But put a bit of loft on it. It's probably would have been okay. Be a little disappointed with that because. Uh, well, that wasn't too pretty to be honest. Thick over there. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Right, we have to just land it there, maybe. It's a difficult chip. That's that bank. Yep, it's not a bad result. There it goes, a birdie. 22 under par. We now have an 11 shot lead. I mean, even if the, the, the AI players just I kept with you a bit. I mean, the first two rounds always seem to be a wee bit tighter, but after that, it's just it's kind of scary. Yeah, this looks as if it's. We're gonna have to go a little bit. Yeah. It's not gonna find the green. If the new one is a century old, so the second of the par four. But it sets up a possible chip. Now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. See if he does it here. Oh, so we go on. Nice approach shot. I'll be happy with that. It's at sneaky distance. Mm, don't know what this is really going to do. Maybe just slight break, perhaps. Yeah, but yeah, funny one now. Michael Dublay. He's hardly going to be singing after that. That's a bogey. So we drop back to 21 under par and only 10 shots ahead. There's McElroy there, Spieth 8 under par. What have we 
got national. You can actually go a bit more to the to the right there. Probably out of bounds down that path there though. And from the fairway, second shot. Here. Well, we possibly could make this on the green. It's a possibility. Yeah, it could just be. It's a little too long. Oh. Finds the bunker. Now it's at the back of the bunker. Could be problematic, but. So getting set for a greenside bunker shot, Frank. When I think yeah, we'll just splash this out. We'll put a bit of loft on it. Gary Player, uh, what we got? Nick two ninety four. So, well. what did they so do probably effective on these greenside bunker shots. They had an attitude for a start that was different. For them, it was they saw possibilities. And, uh, Ooh. They, they would imagine a nice sand. Remember, because this is the only shot Pitched in the hole there. So they would really choose the amount of sand behind the ball, whether that was an inch or two. They look up at that and they try yeah. to like get a bird there. So we restore yeah, back to 22 under par. Still we've got a 10 shot lead. Patrick Reed's birded. He's to 12 under par. Playing the 15th. Oh, that's going to run out of fair weight. It's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Ooh. Point from the rough again. And the hole is cut exactly 160 yards. Bit of slope as well. Maybe just club up a little bit. Seems to like it. Yeah, it's gonna be not too bad there. Yeah, but the chance. That's a master class and short gun. Really, not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Yeah, there we go. Trying to see on the par. Twelve shots ahead. Trying to think what Open Championship it was at St Andrews. It must have been. It would have been 2010. Uh, but Oosthuizen was ahead by quite a bit. Oh. Yeah! A pretty decent drive down the, in the middle. Excuse me. Now I've got a body chance. Oh, it's on the hole. Wow. Oh. Easy peasy. 24 under par. Twelve shots ahead. Gonna look pretty good there. Oh, it just bounces out, just slightly brings it back off that hill. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Now, Frank, really good chance from this position. This is a really difficult a shot to get really this close. Uh, right but 151 to that green light special. bunker there. So, uh, what we got? Maybe we want to hit it. Judge the wind at all. Playing this part for a still. That was not 
great shot. Really difficult to hit this green. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Well, um, I think it's safe to say that we're going to win our third straight Open Championship. Three in a row. And this is probably the easiest one we've had to date. Oh wow, well, there we go, 13, 13 shots ahead. I mean, we could actually drive this ball out of bounds and take the maximum shot penalty and we'd still win. I remember, you know, Jack Nicholas when he beat Doug Sanders in that playoff. I'm hitting it towards the town. Going right up that edge. A different angle into the, to the green. Well, it's a victory lap here. In fact, the whole round's been a, a victory lap. I love that fist pump. It was pure savvy. All that fire, all that passion came flying out, and that's where you just sort of fell in love with the game. Here's to be when right. they call it commercial play. Very solid. That would be it's a decent. Bird. The last hole was has, has got a, a tricky green, especially the slope, um, and it's you not. The open it's not as easy to get this in. It's quite slopey. actually over, <laughs> overdid it. Just a well, feet. it's not the end of the world. We've got, we've got shots in hand. So there we go. The open championship is ours again. Yay! Right Just a pity we couldn't add added the uh, the US Open. Would have been on, on for a grand right. slam. And there we go. I mean, Patrick Reed eleven under par. We've got a, a thirteen a shot victory. Um, yeah, pretty easy to be honest. It'd have been nice if it'd been tough. Uh, I mean, we finished with a 63, there's somebody there with a 66, and that's really we're still three shots better. So, that's going to conclude this video. Um, another major. Under our belts, I think that might be. I think it'll tell us after this. <laughs> there we go. Dan McCall wins 2017 the Open Championship. Dan McCall won the Open Championship on Sunday for his fifth major title and third uh, Open Championship of his career. McCall closed with a final round 9 under 63. My goal for this week was to stay out of trouble. I take advantage of the scoring opportunities by making putts, said McCall. I knew if I could do that well, I'd be in a position to win this thing at the end. Yep. In the end, it was a very comfortable win. And there we go, we've, we've took pin clubs on. So we'll play them for a couple of tournaments and then maybe switch it up to something else. Uh, the next up and coming tournament is the Tiburon Championship. So, thanks for watching guys, and again, another win under our belts, and we move on. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tournament. Thanks for watching. Bye.